Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lee Time. Last couple of videos talk about the infused oil and the risk of using infused oil. Got a lot of uh, interest uh, and also the questions. In this video, I will answer a few key questions. I think most of the people who are going to make infused oil or want to use infused oil, they want to know the answer for these questions. So the first question is, uh, is infused oil safe to use internally and externally? The answer generally yes. If you are making the infused oil from dry herbs, so most of the case they are safe, even including the herbs I talk about like uh, rosemary, oregano. So those herbs, when you're using the dry ones, you can use a uh, safely because those bacteria we talk about the very bad bacteria botulism they are grow in the wet herb and they need a certain amount of water moisture to survive if they cannot survive they wouldn't produce those neurotoxins that cause the safety problems um, but when you are making the infused oil with the fresh herbs especially the fresh garlic, rosemary, oregano, then you're going to be very careful. Um, first, you need to do the acidification. Look at my last video, I talk about how to do the acidification based on the study from the University of Idaho. You need to use the citric acid to reduce the pH and make more acid. This will limit the growth of potatoism. And after the the bacteria are going to be limited, then it, the oil made even from the fresh herb, they have a longer shelf life. Second way is uh, you save, if you're safe in the room temperature, dry herbs will be a better options. Uh, the fresh herbs, you got to do that after the acidification, then you can save in the room temperature uh, based on that study. For more safety, you can put in the refrigerator, higher level of safety to reduce the neurotoxin release from the bacteria. So that's a question about the safety of infusion. The second one, the question is uh, how to make infused oil. Normally, if you do just like a room temperature infusion, it takes weeks. Uh, generally, people suggest at least uh, four weeks and uh, even longer is better um, because at the room temperature the solubility process is slow the oil is thick and uh, it gotta extract those uh, nutrients from the dry herbs so those all take time however there is a way to shorten the time from weeks to hours that is you gotta do the right at a higher temperature at an elevated temperature it will boost the process of the solubility and make that infusion process much much shorter as i said it can shorten from weeks to hours however you got to use the right tool for that the best temperature is not boiling it's generally about 65 to 70 degrees celsius so it's about 150 uh, Fahrenheit so that's the temperature right temperature for your infusion uh, including your tincture your vinegar and infused oil if you want to use the elevated temperature some people use slow cooker slow cooker is not good not good if you use a slow cooker before you will find eventually it will boil it will boil because they don't manage the temperature you just lower the power but they just let it go so eventually you are boiling and boiling will ruin your the activity of the functional chemicals the phytochemicals we try to extract uh, through the herb so the boiling is not good if uh, slow cooker is not good if you want to try you can use a water bath and sometimes people call it a double boiler and that way you can have a better management however you still want to manage the temperature you want to have a lower heat and make a balance 
So between the heat dissipation and the heat is given. So in our words, you want your temperature within that range. So still take time, still take your effort to manage that. The third one is the one uh, we're going to launch in the new products called ADI. It has the function of infusion plus the hydrosol making. It's all automatic. Its infusion has a best temperature control. It controls right in that range. So make it safe and it's automatic. So you don't worry about, you know, lose. You, you need to constantly checking and uh, do some work to interfere its uh, temperature you know, management. And this is automatic, all automatic. Um, sign up on our the ADI pre-sale page. I'll put the link down below. Uh, you can get a message uh, once it's uh, in the market. Okay, so today I talk about two major questions. The first one is about safety of infusion. And the second one, how to shorten your infusion process by doing uh, accurate elevated temperature um, the infusion. Thank you for watching. This is uh, Dr. Leo. See you next time.